Hey guys, MooneyB123 here with you today. I'm going to show you how to unlock your Samsung Galaxy Note. And this is specifically for the i717 versions, which is going to include the AT&T uh, i717, and it's going to include uh, the Canadian versions as well, once for Bell, Rogers, Telus, uh, for those uh, Canadian um, Galaxy Notes as well. Okay, so... Um, what I'm going to show you today is how to actually unlock your phone so that you can use this on a different carrier. Like you can see this phone is branded AT&T and right now this phone is locked. And what I'm going to do is show you how to um, be able to use this phone on T-Mobile or to be able to use it on any other GSM carrier besides AT&T. Okay, so... If you're going to unlock your phone, there's several methods that you could use to unlock your phone. One of them is you could just call into AT&T and ask them for uh, for the unlock code. And um, if you're an AT&T customer, you're in good standing, you can call in, I think, and you can get that unlock code very easy. Um, and you know what? I, even if you're not an AT&T customer, you might as well just try your luck. I mean, it'd be easier just to call into AT&T and see if maybe you catch a customer service uh, rep that's that's having a good day and just gives that information to you, um, so you, you may you may try doing it that way. Um, so that's definitely the easiest way. Just call an AT and T and get your unlock code. Um, there's another way to do this, and that's to use uh, one of many unlocking websites that you can find on the internet. And uh, I'm sure I will have plenty of people coming in here with their unbiased opinions about which unlocking website is going to be the best one for people to use. Um, if you go that route, you're going to spend a few bucks. You're going to spend um, $25 to $35 and some of them even higher than that. Um, so you're going to spend some money using doing it that way. And, you know, if, if you just get frustrated with this met method or... You uh, you just just want to just go ahead and get unlocked right now? Then then you can go ahead and do that. Although I will say with those unlocking websites, uh, from what I've seen, I didn't look at them a whole bunch, but sometimes it takes them a little while, sometimes hours, sometimes days to be able to send you your unlock code. Um, so for me, and I really don't have a reason to unlock my phone. I'm just doing this to for for you to show you how to do this. But for me, if I had to unlock my phone, number one. I wouldn't want to pay the twenty-five or thirty-five dollars. That would just, I just, that wouldn't be worth spending the money. But even if I had the twenty-five or thirty-five to spend on that, I would want to use the method I'm going to show you today, just, just for saying I did it myself. Okay, so it's what I want to do first of all. Here is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you that my phone indeed is locked. And so you can see here, I'm going to put this T-Mobile uh, SIM card in my AT&T. Um, Galaxy Note. And so as I put uh, that a that SIM card into the phone, I'm going to let it boot up. And you'll see it says invalid SIM. And then it's going to uh, it's going to show there that it needs the SIM unlock code. That it's showing that this phone is still locked and that it needs it needs that code. So I'm just doing that to show you that my phone indeed is um, is is locked now let me talk about this sim card you're gonna have to have a sim card that is from a different carrier than the branded carrier on your phone my branded carrier is AT&T and I need some different carrier so the easiest one is just to get a T-Mobile now I got lucky T-Mobile is not in my area they they don't have service at all in my area my brother happened to have a phone um, that he, that he's had for for a long time, and got lucky, and he found me a T-Mobile SIM card to be able to do this with. If you live in an area where you're not in T-Mobile SIM coverage, uh, T-Mobile coverage, let me show you one way that you can get a cheap uh, T-Mobile SIM card. So if you know you don't have a friend or somebody that you can borrow one from, so over here on eBay you can see I just searched Net10. T-Mobile SIM, and I'm doing that for a reason because uh, we can get a real, real cheap SIM here. Uh, so Net 10 T-Mobile SIM, and specifically for the um, for the 
Uh, Galaxy Note 1, we need this, the micro SIM. It's like kind of the full size one. And you can see here, you can get this thing for 99 cents. That includes shipping. So for less than a dollar, if you're in an area where you can't find um, a SIM card from a different carrier, there's an option for you is to go onto eBay, buy that for 99 cents, less than a dollar, ship it, ship it to you, and it'll be to your house in a few days, and then you can use that uh, to, uh, to unlock your phone because you do need a SIM card from a different carrier to be able to unlock your phone. So that's one thing that, uh, that you're going to need. Okay, one thing before I start into uh, the steps that we're going to go through today is I want you to, to uh, realize that you need to be careful as you go through the steps that we're going through today. Um, you've, you've decided you want to unlock your phone, and so please be careful and realize you're taking responsibility for your phone and for, for what you're doing to it. So just follow the steps very very clearly here. All right, one thing I want to do is I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to go to about device. And it's what I'm going to check here is my baseband version. Okay, you can see here my baseband version is I717 UCMD3. And so it's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write, write that number down. Okay. I-717 UCMD, whoops, 3. Okay? Now, the reason I'm doing that is it'll tell me just, just so I'll know where I started at. Because we're going to be changing this baseband version. We're going to be uh, flashing a T-Mobile radio to it in a little bit, and I'll, I'll tell you about that. Um, and this really isn't necessary to do this, but it will give you an idea of where you started from. So I would go ahead and do that. Check the baseband version. Write that down so you know where you're starting at. Okay. And um, so while we're here, let's go ahead and talk about this. You can see right now I'm on Android version 4.1.2. And we need to have this phone on Android version 4.0.4 to be able to use this unlock method. So I'm going to show you, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. That's, that's part of the video today, to show you how to get to 4.0.4. .4. And the ROM that I'm going to be flashing to this is going to be an AT&T ROM. And um, if, you're, if your phone is an AT&T phone, of course this will work. And also for you Canadian users, you can flash this AT&T ROM to your phone, and, um, and it's not going to hurt because afterwards we'll, I'll show you how to, I'll, or I'll get you going on how to flash uh, back to to what you need. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to go back to 4.0.4. .4. That's going to be one of the steps that we that we're going to have to take here. Okay, so over on the computer, <clears throat> let me go through here and um, show you. First of all, let me show you where I'm getting this information from. So the steps we're taking to unlock our phones today, I did not develop these at all. Okay, I have nothing to do with the development of this method. Um, I've got these from some XDA users. So let me show you these XDA users and um, show you their names so, so you'll know I'm not taking credit for this. It comes from these guys. So the guy I found this to start off with, his name is Crixley. And I found his thread over here in, uh, on XDA in the I-717 forum. And so he's kind of a little ways down the stream of where this uh, method began. So Crixley... And when you click on this, he said he got his method from this guy, FV Man. You click on this, he says, I read this post, and it takes us over here to Owl74. And I think this is kind of where the stream starts, where this is probably the first guy to, to kind of uh, give us this method. Okay? So if you want to get on XDA, if you're not a member here, register. Give Crixley a thanks. Give FV Man a thanks. Give Al74 thanks, and then uh, he even has where you can set up donate. So he's kind of the original guy. So if you want to throw a few pennies his way, um, please do that because he's kind of the one who who's given us this information. Okay. Um, so it's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you all the things that you're going to need to download. And um, there's going to be several things you need to download here, but I'm going to guide you exactly through this. It's not difficult. Um, but there's going to be several steps, but I'll, I'll guide you exactly through this on exactly how to do this. Okay, so there's going to be several things you need to download. First thing you need to download is the Odin Flashing Program, and I'll have a link in the description to all of these, all of these threads and all of these posts. 
So, so what you want to do is click on this Odin version uh, 3.07, click the word here, and it'll download, and you can see I've already done that. So it'll when you once you click here, I think it opens up another web page, but it's a direct download, and it'll download download that for you. Okay. Next thing you need is um, is you need Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay, let me stop and say this real quick. I know there's probably going to be people watching this who know what they're doing, and they're going to say, "Well, why don't you do it this way, or why don't you do it that way?" Okay. And um, I've been flashing ROMs for several years now. Um, I've got lots of videos showing how to do this. And, you know, we all kind of develop our own ways that we like to do this. And so this is the way I feel most comfortable with doing it is the method I'm showing today. And um, I believe that the method I'm showing today will help the most number of people. So regardless of where they're starting at, they'll be able to use the method that I'm showing, whether they're rooted or not, whether they're on four. Point one, point two. Whether they're on Jelly Bean, whether they're even on some new Kit Kat version, they'll be able to use these steps and get their phone unlocked. Okay, so you need to download this Clockwork Mod Recovery. This is a custom recovery, and we'll be flashing this to our phone in just a little bit, and I'll show you how to do that. But you want to download this one right here, the Clockwork Touch. Okay. Next thing is you need to download the T-Mobile modem or the radio, and I'll have a link to this mega website right here. And it's 19.7 megabytes. You're going to download that to your computer. And then the other thing that we need to download is the actual 4.0.4 ROM. And this is going to be the big file to download. Um, I have a link to this, to Big FAU. I don't, I'm not sure what that stands for. Um, I've used some of his ROMs before. Um, good, uh, good developer. So we're going to use the one that says here that says Pure Stock. So download that one. And I don't remember how big that file is. I don't remember if it's seven or eight hundred megabytes, but it's a pretty good size file. So that's going to be the big one to download there. Okay. So you've had you have four files that you're going to have downloaded: the Odin flashing program, the Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch, the T-Mobile radio, and the stock that's a UCLF six. Okay. So all four of those. Okay. Now. Let me show you what to do with it with each of these. These two, the first two that I showed you are going to just stay on your computer. The Odin flashing program and the clockwork mod recovery, those two are going to stay on your computer. So, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this Odin program. Okay, sorry about that. I had a little bit of hiccup there with uh, with that folder. So I'm going to take this Odin 3.07, I'm going to put it out on my desktop, okay, and uh, I'm going to create a new folder here, I'm just going to call it Odin, I'm going to take this stuff out of this folder, well, I'm sorry, it has already has a folder created in it, so I don't need to do that, so I'm just going to extract that, put that folder out here. I already had one. I'm going to go ahead and just replace all that. Okay. So I've extracted that. Next thing I need is this Clockwork Mod Recovery. And I'm going to put it out on my desktop. And... Got that there. Okay. Now... <clears throat> so I've got the Odin... 3.07 extracted to my desktop. I've got this Clockwork Mod Recovery on my desktop. Now, with the other two files that you downloaded, with this one, the T-Mobile Radio, and the ROM, those two need to go on the internal memory of my phone. So let me just show you that. I've already done that. I've already put those in here. Let me just go over here to my files, and I'll show you. Right, Both of them are right there. The T-Mobile radio is on the internal memory of my phone and that ROM, the pure stock, the UCLF6 stock. So both of those files, leave them as a .zip, are both on my phone at this point. Okay? All right. So back over to the computer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this Odin. And I want to open the .exe. Okay, 
Now that's open on my computer. It's what I'm gonna do on my phone is I'm gonna go ahead and just take the battery out. I want this to be powered down. And so what I want to do is to put this phone now into download mode so I can flash my customer recovery to it. So with the power off, make sure you don't hit the power button. I'm going to push volume down. As I'm holding volume down, I'm going to plug in my USB cable. And it's going to bring me to this and I'm going to push volume up to continue and it brings me into downloading mode. Now, over on my computer, you can see here, this wasn't showing up before, now it shows that it's reading my phone on COM18. So, it's, it's showing that it's reading my phone on a port. If you have a problem with it reading your phone on a port, you, uh, you don't have the proper drivers, and the easiest way to do that is to get Samsung keys downloaded to your phone. Okay, my phone is in download mode, my computer's reading my phone on this port. It's so what I want to do is go to the PDA slot. And I want to go find on my desktop that file that I put out, the Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch. And I've got several here. Let me... Here it is right here. Recovery, Quincy AT&T, Clockwork, Touch, 6.0.4.3.